up guys, it's your boy Steve McKinnez here. I go to LA Valley College, I play outfield. Um, this is what's in my baseball bag. All right, we'll do the bats, we'll save those for last. But uh, yeah man, this is my bag. Um, I have a LA Valley bag, but it's like, kind of got to return it at the end of the year. So um, I kind of just stick with my high school bag. Ooh. Uh, first off, we got my, my baby right here. This is my outfield glove. Um, I've been trying to play a little bit infield too, but um, this is the glove that I mostly use. It's a Rawlings, it's a Rawlings Heart of the Hide. I uh, used it in high school and stuff. I kind of put it away for a while, but like now it's back, man. This is the, this is the one that made the money catches. Um, so we got that, and then we also got we also got my boy's infield glove that I've been using because um, he unfortunately retired for baseball, so he lets me use it. It's a, it's a pro preferred. So yeah, this one's this one's pretty sick. What else do we got? We got my tripod that I used to um, film some YouTube videos and some TikToks with and everything. Um, Joby Gorilla Pod. We got my 310 batting gloves. I've been using these a lot lately, man. They're really high quality. Um, and they do the job, you know. I also, inside here, I also got a thumper. It's uh, it's kind of like a pro hitter. Like I just put it like around my thumb and like kind of helps me keep the bat like loose and stuff in my fingertips. Uh, I've been using that every day when I hit. So put that baby back in my, my batting glove. I got some green J-bands. Try and use these every day before I throw. Shout out to my boy Thomas. Um, yeah, man, you gotta take care of your arm, especially like your rotator cuff and everything, you know? So, uh, so yeah, this is a big staple in my throwing. We got my LA Valley helmet. Um, it has the little uh, the little face mask side thing, you know? Cause uh, I don't know. I like to be able to think like, if I get hit in the face, like I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna be scarred or anything, you know? <laughs> like I'm trying to, uh, trying to have a peace of mind a little bit when I'm hitting, especially cause guys are throwing harder and harder nowadays. But uh, yeah, I mean, this does the job. Um, I got the number 44 stickered on top of it. I uh, got it all pine tarred out. It's pretty sick. It has the valley sticker. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to use this this year. We got my sweat towel, guys. This is definitely a must. I use this every single day, whether it be in the gym or on the field, because, like, how are you going to play when you can't see because your eyes are so sweaty, you know? And, uh, I mean, if you're not sweating, you're not working hard enough. So um, I always try and keep this so I can, like, perform to my highest level. We got a bunch of batting gloves in here scattered throughout. I got some Easton batting gloves that I use. Another 310 alternate America colorway. Um, and some all white 310s. We also got G-Form out here. Um, shout out to G-Form, they sent me this. Uh, I use this on my elbow guard. It's like really, uh, it's not that stiff so you can kind of like move your arm around like pretty freely. I also have the leg guard. I just strap this baby on. Um, and yeah feel pretty protected we got this band um, honestly guys I don't even know the brand but you could find it on Amazon I try to use it every single day to warm up try to get that hip mobility in uh, trying to engage the right muscles before like I go out and try and like give it all I got at the field you know um, it's like two dollars max man maybe five bucks but uh, yeah it's pretty light band kind of do like uh, some side to side stuff and make sure those hips are working so So we got we got the gargoyles um my boy carrie broke this zipper but hold up we got the gargoyles honestly man they're like kind of ugly but like when they flip up it's pretty sick um it's kind of more of an infielder thing but like i use them from time to time because they're like polarized they're pretty high quality yeah, this, this is what they look like but kind of looks like the vintage 90s style when you flip them up kind of like barry larkin or something we also got sunscreen, like you always gotta wear some sunscreen, man. Like, even if you're trying to get tan and stuff, like you gotta put sunscreen on as a baseball player. You, you guys know that we get farmer's tans and everything. So, uh, yeah, I always try to do that to balance it off. Um, I don't wanna like be completely pale on the inside and like super tan arms, you know? So I don't know, try to balance it out with the sunscreen. You gotta protect yourself from the rays. This kind of became a mess, but um, 
my boy Brett Marine. I bought this off of him. He has uh, he has some rosin and pine tar. Um, I kind of use that sometimes if I want to get a really good grip. Sometimes I forget I have it in my bag, so I kind of just use regular pine tar. But uh, yeah, just keep this in here and uh, just like bring it out and just like plop it around on my bats. Speaking of pine tar, I kind of just use the main one, you know, a, a good old tiger stick does the job. Uh, kind of just put it right all over my bat or my helmet or something like that and then I have a good grip, so. Shout out pine tar. I also have a pocket radar, so whenever I want, I could kind of like check in on myself, whether it be like hitting an exit velo or uh, just like throwing velo with like a crow hop or something, get my outfield going. Uh, yeah, shout out pocket radar for sending this over. Um, I'm also a big headband guy, especially when my hair starts to get crazy. So I got some headbands, got a good old America one and uh, got a neon one, got to stand out a little bit, kind of matches with most things. We got my LA Valley mask. We're going to be wearing this a lot this year. I think we have to uh, every single practice and game. Uh, so yeah, I got to stay safe. It's pretty, pretty cool. You can just kind of keep it on your neck and uh, keep it up there when you need to. Uh, I also have a little crossbow because sometimes I'm super tight like in my back or my chest or something kind of just put this on a wall and roll on it you loosen up everything your muscles uh, I also have a weighted ball just in case I want to use it kind of loosen my arm up I don't use weighted balls too much but I'm starting to get back into my plow care routine um, but yeah guys let's get into the bats all right guys as you can see I am a big fan of the brand 310 uh, they really hook it up for me I got my own custom Valley Boys bats man um, this one's pretty sick. It's like the, I call it like the solar system chameleon bat. Like it's really sick. It has like the little uh, the little stars on it, on here, the little sparkly stars. And then I got some pine tar on this by accident, but little, little chrome 310 if you can see. This is my go-to right here. Um, it's a little bit unloaded, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I use this like every single time I train. And then we got this one, I use it as my one-handed bat because it's like a little bit cracked right here. Uh, it's the original Valley Boys bat. This is the first one that I that I did with them. Um, has a cool little lizard skin grip. And then, for LA JUCOs, we're allowed to use metal bats, so this is my go-to right here. Shout out Easton, it's the green B5. Um, yeah, it's a really solid bat, has a good ping feel, and uh, yeah. And guys, I'm kind of wearing them right now, but uh, I use good old green Adidas cleats. Uh, like green and white, because my school is green, but I'm trying to stay with Adidas, because Adidas is sick, so shout out Adidas if you're looking for any, uh, um, kind of trying to get sponsored but uh yeah so i try and try and keep the same brands going you know uh also guys we got a valley boys hat man make sure you guys go cop valleyboys.shop um this is like my brand that i've been working on trying to make it like a streetwear brand um it's just about like putting in hard work and everything um so yeah, if you guys are if you guys want to support link's probably going to be in the bio hopefully <laughs> Guys, this is my little vlogging setup that I've been using. Uh, typically, I have, like during game days, I have a smaller camera because it's like kind of easier to like maneuver and everything. But this is what I've been bringing, trying to bring quality for you guys. This is the Sony A2000, uh, the base and everything. Uh, the lens is 18 to 105, like trying to get like cool little zoom in features and everything. Um, and then I finally got a mic, man. Trying to trying to bring the quality. I got like a windshield and everything. Um, it's tough because like I had a mic, but it wasn't compatible for the camera. Um, yeah, guys, this is my setup. I also got a little Gorilla Pod, help me carry it around and stuff. And uh, yeah, I kind of just talk to it and everything. Uh, trying to talk to it like I'm talking to myself. And uh, and yeah, like I try it. I've been trying to put out a lot of consistent vlogs lately. This is definitely a cop if you guys want to get started. So yeah.
All right, guys, uh, I just took you through what's in my baseball bag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys slap a thumbs up on the video. Uh, comment down if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my man Shop by Hype. As there's a kid screaming in the background. But uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. And uh, hope hopefully you guys stay in tune for the next one.